board here. Good evening. I want to welcome everyone to the uh, December 2014 meeting of the uh, Avenue Virginia Town Council. Uh, a couple of things I would point out uh, before we get started, one of which is uh, that I would ask everyone to uh, turn off their cell phones uh, for the occasion. And uh, I've actually remembered to turn mine off, so I'm in good shape here for a change. Also, uh, prior to each meeting, our council uh, receives a package of material to help us prepare for the issues that we're uh, going to be considering uh, for each of our meetings. Uh, if you're interested in reviewing a copy of those documents, there is a copy on the table uh, there on the uh, left side of the room. Feel free to have a look at it. Uh, that being said, uh, uh, we customarily begin our meeting with the Pledge of uh, Allegiance, and I would ask our Vice Mayor, Ms. Kathy Lowe, to... Well, you know, uh, we're off to a little bit of a... <laughs> you know, my, my tablet gave out, and I'm operating off of a hard copy for a change. Uh, I would ask uh, our clerk, please, uh, to call the roll. Mrs. Deering? Here. Mr. Howard? Here. Mr. Humphreys? Here. Mrs. Lowe? Here. Mayor Morgan? Here. And I'm happy to say all five council members are present. And we're all happy to be here. Uh, and I'll ask our uh, assistant, uh, uh, our vice mayor, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <laughs> I, I would note at this time that we seem to have a, uh, we have several uh, guests with us uh, this evening. Uh, I believe we have uh, uh, three scouts from Group uh, 222 who are attending uh, tonight's council meeting and they're working on their citizenship and the community merit badge. And uh, I believe we have Brandon Johnson, uh, Shay Sullivan, and uh, Clayton uh, Bell. Uh, Clayton. Oh, he's not here. Clayton's not here. But if you fellows would come up, I've got a little uh, thing I'd like to give you, if you might. <laughs> we appreciate your interest in what our town is doing, and I'd like to give you, each one of you fellows, uh, the highly valued and coveted town of Abingdon lapel pen. And it's not an official thing to wear on your uniform, but I'd wear it anyway. You wear it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You tell me some folks yeah, that we you bet. <laughs> and I want to thank you guys for coming. And, uh, and I will say uh, this. I, I was an Eagle Scout myself, and uh, as was my son. And uh, uh, other members of council have been involved in scouting and had the Eagle Award. And one of the things about the Citizenship Merit Badge that uh, I always try to point out to people uh, is that, you know, we all get excited about citizenship in the nation and citizenship in the world. But the truth of the matter is that the level of government that has the greatest impact on your daily life is happens right here, here in your town. And, you know, because we deal with the roads you drive on and the sewer system and whether you got clean water to drink, whether you have good policemen to, uh, and women taking care of your uh, community and uh, whether your place is uh, safe and prosperous. And this is a level of government where you can have the greatest impact too. Uh, you, you know, when people come to the, see us in the grocery store, they don't mind telling us how they feel about things, and that's okay. But thank you for coming tonight. This is as good as this meeting's going to get. We'd like to get your yeah, picture. Right. You come come right on here. up here. Let's yeah. Get your picture with the council. And I'd like to tell council the the blonde. Cute blonde gentleman right here is our own Jennifer Johnson's son, well, Brandon. Strong family resemblance there. All right. Why is the assistant town manager moving away from us? Because I Thank you. We will make sure you get a copy of it. All right. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. All righty. Uh, Council, we have. Uh, Several sets of uh, minutes for our consideration this evening. We have the October 22nd, uh, 2014 work session. The work session and regular uh, uh, meeting minutes of uh, November the 4th, 2014. And then the work session minutes uh, from t November the 19th, 2014. Are there any corrections or additions that need to be noted for these? Hearing none, I'll uh, ask for a motion, please. I would entertain a motion to be approved all three, all four sets. Okay. Is there a second? Second. All right. We have a motion and a second to uh, present all, uh, to approve all 
four sets of minutes as uh, presented to us. Any uh, discussion, comment? I may have to abstain from the uh, work session that I missed and ask Ms. somebody else, Ms. During, if she can approve those. I will second the motion on approval of the work session in October. All right. So it was the October the 22nd one, but you were not there? No. no, no it was the November, November, November. It's been a long month. Mm -hmm. Work okay. session. Okay. November, uh, November 19th work session. Right. I, and I was I was absent also for that from that. Okay. I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, Ms. Rosenbaum would be simpler to break it into two motions. Let's be able to bring it into two motions. All right. Let's. Uh, Let's do what three and then do that last one. Okay. Uh, Mr. Howard, would you be willing to modify your motion uh, to that effect uh, that uh, we're going to vote on the October 22nd, the no November 4th. and the two November the fourth? Uh, is that agreeable? Okay. Uh, any further comment? Hearing none, I'll ask uh, the clerk to call the roll, please. Mrs. Deering. Aye. Mr. Howard. Aye. Mr. Humphreys. Aye. Mrs. Lowe. Aye. And Mayor Morgan. Aye. Uh, I'll ask for a motion regarding the uh, minutes of the November 19th meeting. I will move that we accept the minutes from November 19th work session as submitted. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second to approve the November 19th, 2014 work session uh, uh, minutes uh, as presented. Any further comment? Hearing none, uh, I'll ask our clerk to call the roll, please. Mrs. Deering. Aye. Mr. Howard. Aye. Mr. Humphreys. Abstain absent. Ms. Slow. Abstain. And Mayor Morgan. Aye. Okay, that brings, brings us to a special employee recognitions. I'll turn this over to Mr. Kelly, please. Yes, Mr. Mayor, members of the council and members of the public, it's a, a bittersweet moment tonight. We have two longtime employees for the town of Abingdon who have uh, chosen to retire and I wish them both the best in in their years of retirement and I've just got to say about both of them that they've done just an outstanding job for the town of Abingdon in the departments that they've they've worked on I'm gonna call them up one by one and I'll have a few I'm gonna step down and I'll have a few um, uh, gifts to give them and also a few other um, comments to make but the first uh, employee that we would like to recognize upon her retirement is Miss Ann Newman Where's your husband? Um, Many of you know Ann as our horticulturist here in town, and she's been so for many years. She's also the wife of the former town manager, uh, GM Mickey Newman, who, who couldn't be here tonight. But Ann is very responsible for the beauty that you see in the town year-round with all the decorations, beautiful decorations and beautiful flowers that she brings um, out and there's always something new and creative that she does each year. Um, one, you, you know, in local government you don't often get compliments, but one of the most widely held compliments that I get in my job as town manager is how beautiful the town Abingdon looks. And that, in large part, is because of Ann's dedication over the past 13 years to making the town a beautiful place to um, live and visit in. And you'll be missed, and you got some big shoes for us to fill to find somebody who has the creativity and the love for doing everything that you've done for the town of Abingdon. I want to thank you for being loyal to me and, and working well with, with me and also with, with the town council. We, we will miss you tremendously. And we have a couple of gifts we'd like to give you, one of which is um, a nice clock that you can keep time of all your retirement. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let your husband steal that from you. Oh. <laughs> and there's a, a card here with, with a little something else in it, and also the coveted town seal, which has been signed by each of the council members and myself. And on behalf of myself and the entire town of Abingdon, I want to
feels going to disappear next to me. <laughs> okay, smile. <laughs> Well, how is this possible yeah, that you're right. actually yeah. doing this? How is this possible? Well, let me look at this. Y'all can say the Newmans are gone. <laughs> Here's the thing. He's going to make you live in that trailer now. <laughs> now he, he's, I, I mean, I really, uh, I've enjoyed it. And I've enjoyed working with Greg and everybody else here. And I love the job. But Mickey is not doing well. And I'm, he's on Austin now 24 hours a day, and I feel it's time that I stay with him. We don't like it, but we understand. Well, but I, I will miss, I will, I'll miss everybody. Well, you really have uh, set a standard, you know, for our town that uh, there's not another place in this part of the world that can compare uh, with how Abingdon looks and uh, you've done such a fine job and uh, been so effective in both the design of the flowers and the greenery and everything that uh, we've had here and as Greg was saying we consistently get so many you know compliments about how good the town always looks and you have to take a great deal of personal credit for that and and uh, I'd hug you if I was down there. <laughs> yeah, me too. Thank you so much for all that you've done for us and uh, I hope things will go well with uh, with Mickey. Each of you have made you know lasting contributions to the town, and thank you so much for all you've done. Thank you. And good luck to you. Thank you. Tell Mickey we said hello. Yes. And I appreciate you. Well, you're welcome. And, thank and you. you. You have to come back in January and take decorations. <laughs> 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 And Mr. Mayor, members of council, and members of the public, we also have another bittersweet uh, occasion. We have Miss Linda Lawson, who has been a long time employee of the Abingdon Police Department as an administrative staff member down there. She's worked very hard and diligently for 27 years with the town of Abingdon. And I can't think of anything but nice things to say about her. I know when my dad was here, she worked uh, with him. And if he were here now, he'd be proud that you were able to retire. And he would hope that you would go off and enjoy your retirement and have lots of fun in it. But on behalf of myself and the entire town of Abingdon, I want to thank you for all that you've done to make the Abingdon Police Department a very effective and efficient place to work and I see Tony and Bill back there nodding their head. I think they all agree that you've contributed greatly to the town of Abingdon. So Linda, I'd like for you to come up if you would and I've got a few things to give to you. also have a nice clock for you so you can keep oh he didn't make her cry did you she threatened me <laughs> no i've not cried though we're trying to get through um, but a nice clock that hopefully will keep track of your retirement days for many many years to come and then we have a couple of uh, cards here uh, with something in that for you, and also yeah. somebody would reach me yeah. a coveted Abingdon seal, which has been signed by each of the town council members and myself, and I hope you'll display that some someplace proud, and that you'll have many, many fond memories of working for the town of Abingdon, and again, I want to thank you for all you've done to make the Abingdon Police Department a great place. Yeah. And um, <coughs> can I ask the uh, Chief Sullivan to come up about that? And, and Bill, even, yeah, please, Bill, you all want to come on up? <laughs> 
CJ, where's CJ? Special trip, though. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> she won't mind. Yeah. 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 Picture which is right. the only appropriate. Thank I, you I so don't know much. who Bill Stocker is one of us. We appreciate it. everything you've done with the town. And, uh, we'll be I do too. Way heavy on your hands, but you got the clock there. If, if I may, we, we did a retirement party for Linda in office the day she left, and. I had somebody come in my office and close the door, and Linda left work without saying goodbye to me. Uh, so uh, I had this big plan, and I was giving a speech, and I was going to hug her. So I'm not going to give a speech, but I'm going to hug her. Thank you very much, and good luck. <laughs> Well, we have no public hearings tonight or second reading of readings of ordinances. And uh, Mr. Kelly, you, I see you you just sit down, but I believe we'll ask you to stand up again. We, uh, we have consideration of the confirmation of Mr. Chuck Banner as Director of Finance for the Town of Abingdon. Um, yes, Mr. Mayor, if, it, if it's okay, I'll, I'll just uh, speak about both of uh, J1 and 2 briefly and then then present the two candidates for the confirmation. Well, you threw me for a moment. I thought we were sh shifting into K1 and K2. <laughs> All righty. Um, as is required by the town code section 2-136 subsection 2, um, I am authorized as the administrative head to hire uh, all town employees, but if they possess supervisory powers, they are to be brought before the council at the next council meeting for uh, confirmation of their hiring by me for the town of Abingdon. I'm very pleased to announce that we had two vacancies. One was the director of uh, finance and one was the director of planning that we have now filled after, after a, a several months of a search going on for both of those positions. I feel we have two very qualified individuals uh, to fill those positions. They've already been here, they've been here for a short period of time, but they have uh, blended in very nicely with every one of the town staff that they've encountered so far. We have a full staff meeting tomorrow with department heads that we're going to introduce these gentlemen to, although I believe they've met virtually every one of them already, but nonetheless, we're going to go through those motions. But um, the first individual is the direct, new director of um, finance uh, for the town of Abingdon. His name is Chuck Banner. He comes from Castlewood, uh, Virginia and has many years in, in um, government finance, having worked for the University of Virginia at Wise for, I believe, about a total of 25 years, and then in some private accounting firm for a few years in addition to that. Um, Chuck has a wonderful personality, and he has a great working knowledge that we've already found out in the short period of time he's been here to uh, really transform our finance department. So um, first person I would present for council for confirmation is Mr. Chuck Banner. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Well, we could have a round of applause. We're, we're very pleased to meet you and to uh, uh, and glad that you wish to uh, come on board with the town of Abingdon and uh, uh, we know you're going to make right contributions to the future of our town and thank you for you know wishing to be a part of us. That being said, uh, you know we have a responsibility to uh, confirm Mr. Banner as the director of f uh, finance for the town and I would entertain a motion regarding this matter. 
Mr. Mayor, I move that we confirm Mr. Chuck Banner's appointment. Um, Hire. That's right. He's not appointed yet. All right. Hire. Uh, as recommended by Mr. Kelly. Uh huh. All right. Is there a second? I'll to second that? that motion. All right. We have a motion and a second to uh, confirm the hiring of Mr. Chuck Banner as the director of finance for the town of Abington. Is there any further discussion or comment? Uh, hearing none, I'll ask our clerk to call the roll, please. Mrs. Jering. Aye. Mr. Howard. Aye. Mr. Humphrey. Aye. Mrs. Lowe. Aye. And Mayor Morgan. Aye. And again, thank you and welcome aboard. Now, have you gotten a stock of lapel pins yet? Or? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. Mr. Kelly, you hooked me up. All right. Uh, Mr. Kelly, we have another gentleman with us tonight. Uh, yes, yes, we do, uh, Mr. Mayor. We we have uh, Matthew Johnson, who comes to us uh, from Jamestown, North Carolina, as the director of planner uh, from that community and had also had several years of experience in the Greensboro area of North Carolina. I can say that I got to know Matthew, I guess, uh, a few years ago, before, long before this position was ever available. He came by to visit one day, and I believe I presented him with his lapel <laughs> pin at that, at that meeting a few years ago. And but, it brought him good luck, too. Yeah. <laughs> But one, the one thing I found out uh, about Matthew early on in that initial meeting was that he and his wife had been coming and visiting the town of Abingdon for quite some time. They fell in love with the town of Abingdon, and his ultimate goal was to eventually uh, make it uh, here and, and seek employment here in the town of Abingdon. Uh, tonight, uh, or today, which was his first day, that came true for him. He is now here in Abingdon. Um, I have hired him as the next director of, of planning. I think based upon his educational criteria and um, his long history in, in governmental planning, he is an excellent candidate for the job. He too, like Chuck, possesses a wonderful and warm personality and he's a nice addition to the town staff here. Everyone thus far has uh, found, found both of these gentlemen a joy to be around. And um, I, was, I was telling um, Matthew earlier today that uh, for a long time, Town Abingdon had a lot of big projects on the back burner. They're now on the front burner, so he's, he's going to hit the ground running very quickly here when, when uh, uh, the, the council confirms him. But I do welcome him to the town of Abington. I think he's very qualified and capable, and I would request that the uh, town of Abington, or the town, Abington Town Council confirm Mr. Matthew Johnson as the next director of planning. And I would ask you to stand up and we'll give you a round of applause. <laughs> you look like you might even want to say something. It's my pleasure to be here. <laughs> it's our, yeah, we're very pleased to have you on board. And uh, uh, as you know, our town has a strong uh, history and commitment to, uh, to planning. It's one of the things that we really consider uh, one of the keys of our success. And we're glad to have you uh, come on board and set up uh, provide leadership for us in that area and thank you very much for your desire to be a part of us here thank and you. very pleased to have you and Matthew is a good Rotarian he is the uh, president of his Rotary Club that he just left and we're hoping he's going to be joining ours soon well you got two up here to choose from so uh, <laughs> well, let me get a photograph okay mr. Uh, yes and mr. mayor yes sir. I would like to make the motion uh, to confirm the hiring of Matthew Johnson as the plan director for the town of Abingdon. Very good. Is there a second? Second. All right. We have a motion to second. Confirm the employment of uh, uh, Mr. Matthew Johnson as the director of planning for the town of Abingdon. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask our uh, clerk to call the roll, please. Mrs. Deering? Aye. Mr. Howard? Aye. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mrs. Lowe? Aye. And Mayor Morgan? Aye. Thank you very much. Okay. And we're going to have pictures. This way we can tell, compare it on a yearly basis, how quickly they're <laughs> not just holding turns, but for some of us falling. Let's down, loose. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank Turn you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I used to go to the barber to go to the buffing shop. All right. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Uh, we actually do have some real business, I think, to handle this evening, or a little bit of it uh, for a change. 
Uh, we have a consideration of, uh, I believe, sort of a modification of a motion made by the council at a regular uh, September meeting relative to the Wolf Creek uh, Stream Restoration Project. Mr. Kelly? Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. At, at, that time, at the time, the council made an appropriation uh, for the reclamation project of Wolf Creek. They authorized the funds to be paid to, um, was it U.S. Wildlife Society? It's the Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. Yeah, the Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. After that happened, uh, we became aware that uh, they were not capable of handling the funds, but that another organization um, was capable of hand handling those funds, and they requested that I get the council to reappropriate that money to uh, basically um, avoid the initial motion and make a new motion which uh, reappropriated that money to and I'm going to have to yield to Cecile to tell me the name of the organization it is the um, trout what in That's the world unlimited yes trout unlimited sorry I'm having a major blank out here yeah trout unlimited will be able to process the um, the, the uh, appropriation and if I recall correctly the appropriation was really for the design of the stream improvements uh, on the Wolf Creek area to the muster grounds. Mr. Kelly, you, I was not able to attend the last uh, uh, meeting, but you might give a brief update of uh, how that project would shape up. Uh, yes, uh, the funding that the council appropriated went to a consultant who designed the stream restoration uh, project, and I believe I forwarded an electronic version to each of the council mm -hmm. yeah. members, but it's a very impressive um, project that will take place down at the muster grounds. They are really hoping that they will be able to generate um, a substantial portion of the money from private funds and other organizations to help pay for that so that it wouldn't be a project that the town of Abingdon would, would be footing the majority of the bill. So it looks like we will ultimately have many, many partners and they're going to be able to have um, that stream um, full of trout at some point in time with the nice habitat for the trout there. Their ultimate hope is that people will see this that, that live along Wolf Creek and they'll want to allow them to expand further down or up Wolf Creek to uh, make the habitat even a larger habitat. The interesting thing about the structures that they will put in is they require absolutely no maintenance. These are all natural uh, structures that will go in the stream to provide the natural habit, habitat for the fish and uh, also make the channel a little bit deeper and the water a little bit cooler to, su to sustain the uh, trout. So I think it's going to be a great project. It also has some new vegetation uh, planting that will go in and around the, the stream as it runs through the muster grounds. There is one small hoop uh, that they will have to jump through and that is they will have to get the, the appropriate permits from um, um, the Department of Historic Resources which would put the property in the conservation easement but they did not feel deterred in any way in moving forward with that and I believe the initial Cecile if you can confirm this the initial appropriation was for fifteen hundred it was for thirteen hundred dollars mm -hmm. and so that's that's the amount that uh, council yeah actually it only needs to be one thousand two hundred and fifty twelve hundred fifty even so it's a better deal all the time yep. need to rescind that the first motion. yeah the first motion would need to be rescinded and she'll need to yes. tell you who made yeah. the motion mr humphreys made the motion and mr howard seconded the motion all right i will move to withdraw my motion for the sum of $1,300 to be, uh, my original motion of $1,300, which was to be given to the Department of Fisheries. Inland Fisheries. Okay, and, and you seconded that, yeah. Mr. All right, we have a motion and second to rescind the original uh, motion authorizing the uh, payment of uh, $1,300, I believe it was, or uh, to uh, the Department of Game and Inland Fisheries to be used for the design of stream of a stream improvement project on Wolf Creek, uh, the portion of it running through the muster grounds. Is there any further discussion or comment? 
Hearing none, if you'll call the roll, please. Mrs. Jerry. Aye. Mr. Howard. Aye. Mr. Humphreys. Aye. 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 Mr. Humphreys, would you care to make another motion? Since I had the first one, let's try, let's try a second we're, swing at this we're one. We're getting better at it. Yeah. Um, I would like to uh, make a motion that we appropriate $1,250 to Trout Unlimited for the design of the stream, uh, the stream improvement project uh, that will pertain to the uh, that part of the muster grounds. All righty. Mr. Howard? I will second that. All right. We have a motion second to uh, provide $1,250 in funding for the design of a stream improvement project on the uh, uh, portion of Wolf Creek uh, running through the muster grounds owned by the town of Abingdon. Any further discussion or comment? Hearing none, if you call the roll, please. Mrs. Jerry? Aye. Mr. Howard? Aye. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mrs. Lowe? Aye. Mayor? Aye. And I would note uh, that, you know, this project, among other things, will hopefully restore the stream uh, to an appearance uh, similar in concept to what it was uh, when the, uh, the, the Revolutionary War soldiers uh, mustered there in uh, 1780. And uh, as I noted in, I think, our October meeting, uh, or was it September, I guess it was September, October, uh, that I uh, did actually catch a five and a half inch long brook mm -hmm. trout out of that stream, which I believe is probably the first trout caught from uh, that area of Wolf Creek in over 100 years. And I'm, uh, I didn't mount it. <laughs> I did turn it back into the creek, but I was very proud of that fish. All righty. Uh, okay, that brings us to uh, uh, matters uh, not on the uh, uh, agenda. Is there anyone present with us this evening that wishes to bring a matter uh, forward to the council's attention? Good evening, Mr. McBeth. How are you tonight? How are you doing? I'm well. <laughs> you haven't heard me, from me for a little while. I'm Rich McBeth, 1139 Panorama Drive, Abington, Virginia. Um, I'm bringing up this uh, again, a couple things. One being the, um, the safety factor on Empire Drive. Uh, when people, we have a lot of people that go to and from to, to attend jobs, you know, walk into their jobs and everything else. There is no way for them to have to actually walk on the street. And with the way the, the curvature of the road, I know the Empire Drive is part of the, the uh, county, but I'm talking about what the town owns, and that's everything on the right side. That's all the housing and everything else. If, if it's possible to get a uh, sidewalk put in there on Empire Drive from um, the main street uh, down to uh, Panorama Drive or farther down, because we do have a lot of people do do a lot of walking down there. We do we all walk out there too, and it is a safety factor more than anything else. So I'm bringing that to your attention again. And hopefully right. we can put it on the agenda for planning since we have a new planning director, uh, and I, so we can take that on. Uh, I would think that that would be very appropriate to uh, to look at, and mm -hmm. and I might add to that uh, one of the uh, another factor that is similar and somewhat in that neighborhood uh, is the portion of uh, uh, East Main Street uh, from the. Uh, General Morgan Bridge, or I guess from the Catholic Church there, mm -hmm. where the road is three lanes and uh, there's not uh, any type of a sidewalk That's through correct. there. And uh, I have on a number of occasions encountered people walking at night and they had no choice but mm -hmm. to be in the road. And, uh, you know, we didn't have a sidewalk put in when we did that. And it's probably something that needs to be, you know, uh, addressed as part of uh, that overall uh, picture. But I'm sure Mr. Dew, who's heard a lot about safety issues and questions tonight would be more than happy to add that to uh, the list of areas that we're concerned about. Also, is there any uh, update on uh, the old Empire Drive uh, function with uh, DOT Whether, or anything? Because I know that they're getting more closer to doing something with cross lows and we're getting more and more traffic coming through there and it's getting harder and harder uh, and we're, we've got at least either an accident or a Ten, uh, a almost accident every single week there at Empire Drive and Main Street. So that's our only way in and out. Mm -hmm. And it's getting backed up more and more than it was. So it's actually worse than when we started this mm -hmm. process many years ago. Uh, and with the um, onset of what will be probably going in across from Lowe's, uh, that's even going to make it even worse. And we get, I mean, we get a lot of traffic coming down there now. And it's not slow traffic either. Mm -hmm. Because they, they do a lot of speeding coming down uh, from Damascus coming into town. I don't have any, does anyone I don't have, have any answers for that, but I wonder if our uh, planning director and can, could, I mean, if the town manager thinks it would be appropriate for the planning director to maybe meet with the county planning director and talk to her about the issues and see if they, 
could come up with a plan that they could submit to both governing bodies in the future. It, it, it's something worthy of talking about. Um, I do know that we've constantly brought it to the VDOT folks' attention. and um, I know we brought it to right. VDOT. V, v, VDOT is now, I believe, I'm not, do they have a new director for the local office yet, John? My understanding they're supposed to, right? For Bristol District? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. Yeah, the one that got fired? Yeah, I'm not sure if the, the new one's in place or not. Yeah, it would be, it'd be a, another good conversation to have with whoever the new person is that comes on board down there. I would, I would love to uh, be in on that, if possible, since I represent Southview on this. Okay. All right, thank you. All righty, thank you, sir. Is there anyone else who wishes to address the council uh, this evening? Uh, council, do you have anything, uh, uh, do our members have anything that they wish to report tonight, Mr. Humphreys? The only thing I have to say is that this will be the last move before, before that we have the holidays uh, coming up here, and hopefully everybody will have ha uh, uh, happy and safe holidays and, and uh, be able to spend time with their family. So. Very good. Vice Mayor Lowe. No, sir. A whole lot of work's going on with a whole lot of committees, but I think everybody probably knows what we're all doing. Yeah. Mr. Howard? I don't think I have anything. Ms. Dury? No, happy holidays. Well, you know, I'm not going to add anything to the mix either, which is um, unusual. But, uh, but Mr. Kelly? Uh, no, sir. I just wish everybody a happy holiday as well. Okay, Vice. I'd like to remind everybody of the Christmas tree lighting, um, the town's Christmas tree lighting. I would, yes, because Mr. Worley would kill me if I didn't tell you for heaven's sakes. Mm -hmm. It's December the 4th. It's on Thursday evening down at the farmer's market, about 6 o'clock, 6.30. 6.30. And, and then also the Christmas parade on Saturday downtown at 6 o'clock, and they are having ugly Christmas sweater day in the town mm -hmm. on Saturday. So, right, yeah. Market, where you, now that's Wear your ugly sweater. Well, uh, the, we have a photo booth. We kind of get pictures made. I bought some Santa hats and antlers and stuff, so we'll take some fun pictures. That's from 10 to noon. And then the competition for the ugly sweaters is um, competition is 10:45, and that's for adults, kids, and pets. Mr. Mr. Howard, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Howard, what do you look like in antlers? Uh, <laughs> I'm not good at antlers. Uh, can, can we go backwards just a minute? We have a yeah, yeah, tourism advisory right. committee. And, uh, you know, we we kind of inadvertently segued uh, into another thing, but we do have one more piece of a bu uh, business, which is the consideration of the uh, reappointment of uh, Susan Yates of uh, the Depot Arts uh, Artists Association. Uh, uh, for a second term on the Tourism Advisory Board, and my note indicates she is eligible to serve a second term. Uh, is there a motion regarding this matter? Yes, yes, sir. I move that we reappoint Susan Yates for another term to the Tourism Advisory Committee. I'll second that, Mr. Mayor. I have a motion and a second to reappoint Susan Yates to the Depot for the Depot Artists Association to the Tourism and Advisory uh, Commission. Anything? Any comment? Questions? Hearing none. Uh, Ms. Rosenbaum, please. Mrs. During. Aye. Mr. Howard. Aye. Mr. Humphreys. Aye. Mrs. Lowe. Aye. Mayor Morgan. Aye. Uh, Aye. We've started on some announcements uh, here this evening. Uh, uh, there, there's quite a lot going on, ranging from the Arts Depot <coughs> uh, open house that will be on the 4th as well. A lot going on on the 4th. Uh, uh, in addition to lighting Christmas trees, there's gallery crawls around through town. Uh, then we do have the parade, as noted, on December the 6th. Uh, there was a breakfast with Santa. Uh, that day at Hartwood, uh, the, again, the ugly Christmas uh, sweater. And then uh, the Peter Meyer group is bringing the 14th annual National Christmas Show, Stars and Promises, Evergreen to Barter, at 7.30 p.m. on the 8th of December. Breakfast with Santa is on the 13th at the Coombs Center. Uh, also, uh, another uh, Hartwood breakfast with Santa on the 20th. Our town offices are closed uh, the 24th, 25th, and 26th. And we have a New Year's uh, story event at Fields Pen on the 27th. Town offices closed on the uh, 1st and 2nd of January. And our council will have its regular meeting on January the 5th. We will not have a mid-month work session this go around. Council, do you have anything else to report tonight? I do, Mr. All right, yes, ma'am. The Fields Pen House has welcomed and opened its, I think, fifth annual Christmas tree lighting event. It's been going on since 
and you'll need to go take a few cans of food. We end up donating those to local charities, and it can be pet food. All right. But do do be sure to drop in the best parlor where you'll find the most lovely of all peacock <laughs> themed trees placed there by the Town of Abingdon's campaign for United Way. Thank you very much to the committee, you know, for doing that. And uh, uh, I would say uh, probably the uh, the sixth of December is probably a good day to include that in our rounds. Well, as we'll now, if you'd like to get story time on Saturdays, you can catch that as well. All right. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I would like to address Mr. Worley and Ms. Howard. I am sorry that I'm going to miss the events this weekend. My granddaughter has qualified for the gymnastics competition, and I will be attending that in Clarksville, Tennessee, and then we're going to have our family Christmas after that, so I'm sorry to miss your events. Well, if you have a safe trip down there. Okay. Mr. Kelly, you look... Um, yes, after, after you went through the announcements, I, I just felt that uh, since I've probably been to more Jimmy Buffett concerts than anybody in the entire town of Abingdon and probably maybe even in all of the region that I would point out that Peter Mayer is the lead guitar player for Jimmy Buffett's band and his brother Jim Mayer is I don't know if Jim will be with him as the bass player in Jimmy Buffett's band but he is a phenomenal guitar player um, I wouldn't count on Jimmy being present, though, <laughs> <laughs> for fourteen dollars. Well, yeah, you know, your, your new plan, your, your new plan director. Could, could, that could be a could be a Christmas miracle. All right. Anybody else? Yes, sir, Mr. Worley. Uh, we have one other event that we're doing at the Coon Center on December the sixteenth at eleven uh, eleven a.m. It's a daytime event. We're encouraging you know a lot of senior citizen groups and anybody else who wants to attend. Uh, we've got the VW Boys coming up, playing oh. a free concert to the community. Uh, it's part of some other stuff that we have going on and some celebration stuff that we're actually doing. It. So uh, that, asked, that actually is going on the 16th at 11 o'clock as well. Very good. Yeah, and we're doing food donations as well for the local food food banks. All righty. Thank you. Anybody else? Mr. Mayor, did you want to say anything about the uh, the picking of the corn? The who? The picking of the corn. Yeah, well, shame on me, and I didn't get in here with the... I'm sorry. Uh, well, and I didn't get in here with the ears of corn, but uh, I participated Saturday in a, uh, for a far too brief period in an event up at the uh, Fairview where we had a harvest of the heritage corn that had been uh, planted up there. Uh, the uh, uh, There was... Uh, bloody butcher corn. Uh, there was a uh, heritage breed of uh, corn that was planted, and that corn was as high as an elephant's eye. And there were ears uh, of corn uh, that were, some of them were like 14 inches long. It was an impressive crop of corn that was grown up there. There was uh, another uh, variety or so of uh, heritage corn uh, that was produced there. And uh, uh, this year, the crop was picked by hand for variety of uh, reasons, uh, but the corn that was picked there will be uh, uh, ground at White's Mill. Uh, they had previously been getting their uh, corn from Kentucky, uh, and this year, by golly, it came from uh, Fairview, and uh, some of it is destined to be served at uh, the harvest table in Meadowview in the form of grits and cornbread, and uh, we hope that this will be the start of uh, uh, a discussion about uh, low, uh, increasing our uh, involvement with local food uh, here and a real uh, uh, farm to table type approach to uh, food in our community, looking at other heritage crops that can help to uh, brand our area as a, uh, uh, as a real food uh, region. Uh, but the corn uh, looked awfully good, and I can't say how pleased I was uh, to see what the uh, various groups, uh, uh, community volunteers and the Glade Spring Tractor Club had done. Uh, I would also note that the Glade Spring Tractor Club, uh, in addition to this, they've harvested uh, oh, uh, about a ton of potatoes that were provided uh, for the local food bank. There's been. I, th I, th I think you're. No, I actually don't have the numbers. I think you're going to actually find that that was probably three or four tons oh, of potatoes yeah. that have been donated to the local food bank, as well as as, as well as other uh, uh, staples. So yeah. uh, I think that they're going to be giving a report uh, upcoming about what they were able to contribute yeah. this year. Each year they've increased what. They they've been able to give mm -hmm. to people who are less fortunate than we are. So. Yeah, and I, I meant to bring in, I had a couple of ears of 
corn to, you know, just prove I wasn't making up this tale of just how big that corn was, but it looked uh, very good. I understand there's turnips there. If you like turnips, there's some on the grounds that uh, uh, everybody is, uh, you know, more than welcome to. They seem to have trouble even giving away the turnips, yes. uh, but uh, they, they did well. and. Uh, uh, we found, I think, a very good combination of uh, partners to work with us at uh, Fairview, and uh, I hope that other exciting things will be happening there in the future. So are you going to do a show of hands of who wants turnips? <laughs> Right they, said they, they, actually, they actually said they couldn't. They tried to give the turnips to the food bank, and the food bank wouldn't even take the turnips. Yeah. So that they... Yeah. So. All righty. Well, you're welcome yeah. to. You, you can have all you can dig up there. You can. All right. Anybody we else got, got anything tonight? I want to thank you for coming. You uh, fellows from Scouts picked a good night to come here. We didn't get into arguments and we didn't get on go on till midnight. So uh, count yourselves lucky, and we're very we feel very lucky to have you with us tonight. Thank everyone for being here and have a good Christmas. Uh, Mayor Ed. Yes, ma'am.